In this video, I'll show you how to see the most popular time of day and day of the week to visit your website using Google Analytics 4. And I'll show you two ways that I recommend my clients during my GA4 one-to-one -to -one consultation calls. First, directly in GA4, and second, with Google Looker Studio, where you can quickly create a heat map table, like this one you see here, uh, using my free template that you can download. Hello, data people. I'm Robert from Clicks.ly, and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. Let's head to the GA4 dashboard. So I'm here in my Google Analytics 4. All you have to do is come here on the left and click on Explore, and then click on Blank. And this is the exploration report, which is probably the most powerful feature of GA4. And we're just going to use parts of it today. I want to quickly show you how to set this up. So uh, first of all, we need to go to dimensions. And here we just look for hour. And also, just in case, let's have date. And then the day. And then in metrics here, if you click on the plus, you can add sessions. Here, sessions confirm so then just uh, double click on the hour and you'll notice it just adds it here in a row and then double click on sessions and it will add here into the values and now you can see you start seeing values let's just uh, here show rows let's select 25 and now you can see that these are basically the hours and they're in military time so 23 is basically uh, 11 p.m next if you want to remove this you just scroll down here you come to filters and then select hour. And then what you can do is you can add the condition. In this case, we need to does not exactly match because we're excluding it. And we're just going to click on this and it gives our option other apply. If you don't have that situation. You don't need to do this, obviously. Now, there's a bit of a problem here. Right now, it sorts it by, by the sessions. So this is 8 a.m. and so on. It's not really readable. However, you can also click here next to hour. There's no arrows, but if you click next to it, it'll sort by the hour. But you'll notice that it's kind of, yeah, it's not very convenient when it sorts this way. We're not be, it's not logical. Now, this is a little bit limitation in GA4. In just a second, I'll show you how you can kind of go around this. But just so you know, you can also add a secondary dimension here. And let's say it's a date. And now you can see the hour and the dates here. What I like to do is I swap them around and now they are in the right order. Plus you can call here nested rows. Let's say yes. Now it's definitely more readable, but still it's not perfect, right? Uh, what you can do is obviously you could just remove this uh, date and just export the hours. Uh, you have an export button here at the top right corner somewhere here. There's an icon like a share icon. I don't have it the right, so I don't see it right now. So I switched to an account where I see this. So you see here you have export data. If you click on it and you can choose here Google Sheets, for example. Yes, import data. And now you have the same data here. And all you have to do, I guess, you just delete the stuff from here. like this. So now you have the hour and the sessions. So now we have to just sort it in uh, some logical order. So I'm just going to select it and then come here into the filter and we can now sort A to Z. Oh, perfect. Now we have a much more uh, better visualization. It just sorts it better. So what you can do is just select this. Then we can come here and insert and we can create a chart. There you go. So for the last 90 days, I selected 90 days because my website doesn't have so much traffic. You can clearly see that around three o'clock, that's where I get the most traffic. And also this is what, let's close this, make it a little bit bigger. And this is at five o'clock. So you can see that you can then style this. You can also update the hours so that it's not in military. Maybe you prefer AM, PM. So you can definitely update it here much easier than in directly in GA4. By the way, if you're struggling with J4 and it just doesn't make any sense, but you need it at work, then stop wasting your time and just join my five day email course where I'll go through the most critical reports, metrics and things you need to know to use J4 for e-commerce. You can join it by clicking on the first link in the description. However, this is quite a lot of steps still. So 
actually you can just copy this Looker Studio dashboard, which is a product from Google. It's totally free. And I've created this template for you. All you have to do is go and click on the first link in the video description, and then you can download it there. And also it connects directly to your Google Analytics 4. And it only takes maybe five minutes to set it up because when you come here, once you downloaded this, when you land on this page, you can come here and click on this three dots, make a copy. And once you've made the copy, make sure you are in the edit mode and then just come here and click on add data. And then you have Google Analytics, then select the account and also select the property and then click on add. I already have this one, so I'm not going to do it again. And once you have that done, I just want to show you how this is set up. So first of all, you can obviously change the dates to see the data that you need. And if you click on this table, this is actually a pivot table with heat map. And just double check that you have the right data source. You have the drop down right here. And the way it's set up is simple. Here we have row dimensions hour, and then we have column dimension date. So I've selected first date. I just came here, type date and selected that. And then what I did is I clicked on this pen icon. And then from here, I selected data type. I changed that to day of week. You'll see in a second why I did that. And then as a metric, I selected sessions. And now here, the sorting, we have by hour and ascending. And then we have uh, the column sorting by date and ascending. This, without this, it wouldn't work properly. So it looks much better this way. And then if you need to add any filters, you have the option here. For example, if you want to exclude uh, from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. because nobody visits your website at that time, you can do that. You can also exclude certain countries. Maybe you are a global company or you have uh, people visiting all over the world, but actually only, you know, uh, North Americans are actually buying from you. So you might as well uh, filter out everybody else and just look at the people that are potential customers that at what time do those people buy from you? Once you've set up everything, once you've changed the dates, then you can always go back to view. And now you can start analyzing. Okay, for this web shop, for example, it looks like most people come uh, between 10 and 11, although Wednesday looks like that's when uh, the bulk of the uh, people are arrived. This could also be because they had some big campaign on Wednesday uh, and it just was a big email campaign and a lot of people came. So it skews the data a little bit. So that's why it's good to look at a longer time period so that you can get this right. But in general, I would say between so weekdays between somewhere like 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. That's the most people arrive there um, that it's very clear here when you use the heat map. Now you know when your website is the most active, but just looking at data without knowing how to turn it into insights will just waste your time. That's why you should watch this video here uh, where I'll teach you my six-step system to turn data into insights.